Well, hi everyone, uh, it's David here. Um, I've been playing in a band called Simply Divinals for a while now. Obviously doing Divinals covers, an Australian rock band from the 80s. The recording system we're using for both rehearsals and live gigs is the uh, Behringer X-Live with um, an S16 tacked onto it so we get 32 tracks. Now the X-Live records in an interesting format. You can see on the screen here that it's got WAV files, but they're actually multiple WAV files within a WAV file. The way it works is it does about 11 minutes of recording in one 4 gigabyte slot, one 4 gigabyte chunk. Um, and in those files, there is 32 tracks. So for instance, this one here, with all the zeros and the A, which is a three gigabyte file, um, that would be the last one of this sequence and it's got 32 tracks in it um, for 11 minutes and what you have to do is tack all of this stuff together you have to extract all of the files and then you have to string them together if you want to use them for any other digital audio workstation or door as we call them um, so I was faced with this dilemma um, some time ago and so I decided to write a program that would do that extraction for me. And I wrote it in uh, uh, Visual Studio. And um, I'm making it available to everyone to use. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, oh, by the way, before I do that, um, the way these files work, they start at the lowest number, which is that one there. It's basically, basically hexade hexadecimal. So it goes from 1 through to 9, and then the next one is A. So then it will be A, B, C, D, etc. That's how it works. So the software needs to understand how that the naming convention works because the first one is one and then two and then three and then four along the timeline. Okay, and it's 11 minute chunks in 32 bit, 32 tracks, if that makes sense. Now I know a lot of people have, have done stuff with this, but I wanted to make it easy for people to use and a bit of a no brainer. Um, all you have to do here is, I'll make this automatic pretty soon, but all you need to do is make a, a temp folder and an output folder for your resulting file, files. And I'll, I'll, as I said, I'll automate this. Um, and this is the software. I'll just bring it up now. This is the software here. It's called XLive SD to door because these files are generally recorded on SD within the XLive system. The way it works is it wants to know where these files are that I just showed you. It needs a temporary area to extract them to. It needs a location to put the final files in. And it wants to know where FFmpeg is. And I've got all these instructions because it uses an external file manipulation system called FFmpeg. I have all this information on how to set that up. Um, what you do is you tell it what frequency your audio bitrate is. Mine is 48 kilohertz. Um, and I also happen to know most of what the tracks are here. So you can see um, I've put all the names in. If you don't know the name, it simply won't extract them. If, if that's a problem, click on export all tracks and it won't worry about names. It'll just give you track one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, so the system will do that for you and then you just click start and go away. It takes a while because they're big files. It might take 15 or 20 minutes depending on the machine that you have and how fast it is and uh, obviously you need the space to do it. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, you can get a hold of this software. I'll put it in the annotation down the bottom where you can get a hold of this software. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions, please let me know. Let's click the start button and see what happens. So what's happened is it puts up this window, which is the FFmpeg window, and it started to extract. The first thing it does is extract all the files out of those compressed WAV files, and then it will stitch them together. So the first part, the 11 minute part of track one, will be stitched to the next 11 minute part and the next 11 minute part till it gets to the end. Once that's done, they are just single long WAV files that you can then put into any door. I happen to use Pro Tools, but many of you will use uh, lots of different other systems like Reaper and Cubase and Logic and whatever else. These are standard WAV files. 
and you can just put them into any door at that point, okay? So thanks for listening. I hope this was useful for you, and I hope the application is useful for you. And um, please check at the bottom here. You will see where to get it. And by all means, please ping me any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you later.